everyone, Rock Adventure DC Team Overland here with another fireside chat. Unfortunately, it's still wintertime, snowy out. Um, didn't feel like being out in the snow. Um, filming these videos, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cold out there. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, we're just doing these in the studio right now. Once uh, the weather gets better, we're going to do these at camp. Um, and whoever's on the camp trip with us, we can all join and, and have a nice little guide discussion answering the questions that you guys have. So um, in this one, we're going to be talking about vehicle weights. So what I've done is um, <clears throat> I've, I've wanted to see what my vehicle weighs in multiple different configurations. I have about seven, <clears throat> seven uh, weights that I've done already. Two of them are um, fully loaded for, um, for cross-country trips with uh, extra gear, family family uh, clothes, family suitcases, and stuff like that. Um, but the uh, what I've done is, um, unfortunately, I did not do this when the vehicle was bone stock. Um, didn't really think of that um, at the point then. So um, I started after. So the baseline that I'm using is, um, I like cat scales. Um, they, uh, Caterpillar, they, um, the, the, the paperwork they give you is nice and standard. I've gone to a couple other scales. They just give you the a receipt from the uh, cash register, so it's not very standard. I want to try to keep this as, as standard as I can, so um, I always go to cat scales. So the uh, so they're all cat scales. Then um, the vehicle is whatever configuration it is, but it's fully loaded with gas, so I'll hit the, I'll hit the gas pump up and then drive straight to the scale, which is usually on the other side of the building. So the gas weight should be almost the same, you know, or tangible. And then I'm never in the vehicle um, to keep it, just to keep everything there. There's no passengers in the vehicle. So um, to start out with, this is all, like I said, I have a 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, the four-door JK, so it's the previous uh, body style, not the current JLU uh, body style. So according to um, the, the door sticker, my GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating, is 5,700 pounds. Jeep says that that is the maximum that that vehicle should weigh in any configuration. So that's the vehicle with the engine, all the fluids, and then the cargo and people, everything inside of it, it shouldn't weigh more than 5,700 pounds. So I'm, uh, I, have a, I have a really awesome spreadsheet that I've uh, made. I'm, I love spreadsheets. So um, I'm just going to go down um, on the date that I did all these. And the first one was uh, April 12th of 2019. <clears throat> I weighed 5,380 pounds. So uh, what got me to 5,300 pounds? Well, I had full tank of gas, which is my, which is my baseline. The hard top was on. There was no cargo inside. And I had all my skid plates. So I have four skid plates on my Jeep. I have the engine, transmission, fuel tank, and the AEV rear differential. The one skid plate that is always on my vehicle is the fuel tank skid. It's too big, too heavy, to, uh, and it's a complicated to get up there because you, you, you put it on top of the factory um, fuel tank skid, which is built into the factory fuel tank. So it's, it's not the easiest fuel skid to remove. The other three I can remove fairly easily, so those are either on or off in those, but the fuel tank skid is always on there. So this is, so for me, that would be um, hard top, you know, without cargo, so, you know, that that's kind of the, the one thing here, but 53, uh, 5380 was the weight for the hard top and all my skid plates. So then, um, later that week, I went back and I weighed 5,620 pounds. So, but what I changed was I took the hard top off, so this is with the soft top, all my cargo, uh, my ARB fridge. So this would be summer, um, a summer um, off-roading trip, not an overland trip, a summer off-roading trip. So uh, 5620. So I'm pretty close, you know, when you put me in there, I'm now just at vehicle weight which um, those skid plates do, I mean, it does start to add up. Suspension, tires, wheels, it all adds up. So this is where you, you know, I'm, I don't have much room to play with to be for on technicalities here. 
Um, so now I was overweight when I drove all the way out cross country to Moab for Easter Jeep Safari in 2019. I had um, all my recovery gear. Um, I had some food, some non-perishable food for the house we were staying at. So we're going to be out there for a week so I just bought it here. Um, and then I had a, a duffel bag full of clothes for a week. Uh, all my camera gear and everything. Um, I was 5,820 pounds, so I was 120 pounds over gross weight driving out to Moab, um, which honestly, I'm, I was very surprised to see that because that's a normal, I mean, if I were to be going on a normal trip, um, that's kind of how we weighed, uh, that's, that's how I drive. So it's, I mean, so the modifications that I've done have severely limited what I technically can drive or um, carry. Um, so now when I got back from uh, Easter Jeep Safari, I, I weighed the Jeep again. Now I only weighed 55,180 pounds. And that was um, with, just the hard, with just the soft top. So s daily summer driving, uh, soft top and the fuel tank skid, I was 5,180 pounds. So the fridge, recovery gear, that, that stuff does, it, you know, it does start to add up. I mean, fridge is... 20 pounds maybe my recovery gear another 20 pounds because i got you know hard shackles so this is where you might be saying okay maybe i need to move from from metal shackles to soft shackles because it you know a pound here a pound there it, it adds up so now my next configuration was um now this was interesting so i was soft top um fuel tank skid no cargo but the doors off um, and the soft top removed, um, was 4,920 pounds. So that's a completely, completely naked Jeep, 4920. So those steel doors, that, that does add a lot of weight. So if you want to, if you're looking at the soft door option on a, on a Jeep, that does, um, especially on the JKs, the JK doors are steel. The JL and JT are aluminum doors. So that's going to save a lot of weight. So um, drive around naked, 40, uh, 49.20. So now I'm doing a uh, hard top with no cargo. Um, was 53.20. Uh, so that's just normal winter. Now, so now it's just normal winter driving. Hard top, uh, hard top on, 5,320 pounds. And the last one I have. Um, this was, I was way loaded down. I was driving out to Colorado. I had um, two weeks worth of, of clothes and a uh, duffel bag for me. Uh, my wife and daughter were coming out, so I had a duffel bag for each of them. Um, limited food, all my camera gear. I was 6140, 6,140 pounds, so I was way overweight on that one. Um, but I also had, that also included um, all my overland gear, so my tent, my stove, my my whole camp kitchen. Um, I had a lot of gear in there, so um, 61.40. So um, this is where when you start looking at buying gear and moving gear around and trying to, you're con you should be like I'm constantly changing stuff up, uh, trying to remove stuff. Uh, so since I've looked at these weights, I've gone through my gear. I've uh, only I've consolidated. Um, I had two wolf box, wolf pack boxes, one for tools and one for, I called it roadside assistance, which had uh, various stuff. I have, I have some videos on, uh, on, uh, in my channel in the gear series going through all that stuff. I've now consolidated the roadside assistance into the toolbox. So I've completely gotten rid of one tool. I've got, I took some stuff out that I don't need. Um, after doing that, after doing that video series, I was like, do I really need a lot of this stuff? So I took some of it out and just, I've just been trying to consolidate down, um, to do this. So, you know, this, this summer I'll try to redo some different weight of how I weigh it out in my tent. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at buying, uh, eventually I'd like to get a roof rack for the Jeep and a, uh, soft, uh, uh, uh rooftop tent and those rooftop tents, that's a couple hundred pounds. So you know, yeah, I just removed my, my tent from my Jeep, but the tent I'm removing weighs less than the root tent I'm putting on top plus the roof rack. So it's, I'm going to be up there on the weights. I need to start looking at how to uh, put, my, put the Jeep on a diet a little bit. Maybe maybe go into that toolbox and say, what do I really need? Do I need to carry 
all these torque uh, 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 tools or sockets. I, I think I've got it down pretty far, but I might have to go back and look and say, what else can I take out? Uh, it's a pound here, a pound there. It all adds up in these boxes. So um, I recommend you guys do this. It's um, these, these scales, they don't cost that much. I think it's like 10 or $12 to go up there. Um, you know, you can just do it in whatever configuration you want. So, um, like I said, this is a, a new in the series, so we'll see how this goes. And uh, if you guys want me to discuss discuss stuff in the future, put it in the comments below. I'll be lo I'd love to help you guys out with uh, with what we have in the in the Overland GP community. So uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We got a bunch of videos coming up in the future. Uh, heading out to Colorado in September, trying to get out back to Pennsylvania a couple more times, down back down to Kentucky for sure this year. So we got some trips coming up. We want to get them out. And uh, you guys stay safe. Bye-bye.